A request to do a PKA problem from an exam, Fall 19, Test 3, Part 4. And the PKA problem has as follows. Uh, we have to fill in the missing piece. So there's a lot of missing pieces. We have to calculate PKEQ and KEQ for each of the parts. One, two, one, two. Uh, that was two and three and four. So four PKEQs here. And we're going to put PKAs, circle the favorite arrows, and be done with it. Uh, nice little start here. Uh, we're going to use MTSOH right here. And I just wanted you to remind me that you remembered how to draw toluene sulfonic acid. And this one has to be meta. So we draw a phenyl with a sulfonic acid. It says show all pi. So you can't just write SO3H. That's what I'm saying. S double O double O O H. And there's a methyl group to make it toluene, and it has to be meta. That's not the one we normally use. We usually use paratoluene sulfonic acid. But in a test involving ortho, meta, and para being part of our nomenclature, I expect you to know this. OK. So in this pair here, I have an acid with the extra H, pKa6, because it's carbonic acid. And its conjugate base is bicarbonate, pKb8. But we weren't asked for pKb. Uh, what we have here is, here is uh, something with a lot of nitrogens in it. If you had to classify all the nitrogens, Here's the classification. This area here is an imidazole. This one right here is an aniline. That is the worst base here. Please don't use it first. And over here, overlapping with imidazole, but still, doesn't matter. It's a pyridine. And yes, after you've studied, I hope you know that imidazoles of those three things are the best bases. And please use the appropriate nitrogen. If you use the one that already has an H, then it's way wrong. It's way wrong. I sound like a 12-year-old. <laughs> if you use the nitrogen that already has an H, then you've used the lone pair that's needed for aromaticity. Huge mistake. Do not put the H here. Must put it here. Imidazole is the best base here. Pyridine is the next best. We're going to use that for the second problem. And we're not going to use the aniline at all because we'll be out of problem. So put the N here where when you put an H on it, it can resonate still. And here we go. We're going to draw them in. Navy. And oh boy, that wasn't nice at all. They're just terrible. You think I know over the years. The best way to do it is draw all the carbons first. Don't finish there. Here we go. There, much better. NH didn't change. N here is going to change. That's where you're parking your H. And don't forget the aniline up here. Didn't go away. There you go. And on this question, I remember in lecture, I said, I don't want you to learn a bunch of new PKAs. But I do want you to put things in order. So I'm going to be pretty, uh, I mean, if you're off by one or two on this, then I'm going to be forgiving. But I did, I did mention that imidazole has a pKa of 7, which was kind of fascinating, because that means its conjugate base here has a pKb of 7 as well. Just, that's just interesting. In a biochemical sense, it's very interesting. pKa equals 7. 
टी के ई क्यू सिक्स माइनस सेवन टी के क्यू इज नेगेटिव वन नाइस सो इक्वलिब्रियम फेवर्स प्रोडक्ट जस्ट अ लिटल बिट टेन टू वन रेशियो Here's your easy arrow. As long as you get your PKs right, this is like a bonus point. Even if you have your PKs wrong, as long as you had the higher number on the right and the lower number on the left, you still get a bonus point. MTSOH, that's a strong acid. PKA is negative five. I'm pretty sure we're going to circle the forward arrow again. We don't have anything less than negative five. We're out. Go ahead and circle the forward arrow. That's the forward arrow right there. And our best base now is the pyridine, right here. So we can become a pyridinium. Pyridinium. There you go. Let's see. Didn't memorize pyridinium. Didn't memorize it. No. But we know we know it's not as good a base as the uh, pyridine's not as good a base as the imidazole was. And the imidazole PK was seven. Now if the pyridine's Let's just work out the two scenarios. What happens if you're a little above seven for the PKAs? That's, is it logical? Let's see. If the PKA here is eight, then you just said pyridine's a better base, better base than imidazole, because 14 minus eight is six. Six PKB and seven PKB is wrong. We know this is a worse base, so we went the wrong direction. PKA may be six. Go the other direction, underneath seven. Ah, then PKB will be 14 minus six is eight. Yep, that's a base that's not as good as PKB seven, right here. So six is a nice guess. I wanna see a good guess here. Some of you are gonna go home and say, he doesn't want us to memorize them. I'm gonna memorize them anyway, it saves me a lot of time. <laughs> not a bad strategy, okay. So PKA8 here would be a good guess. I'll even say it's an estimate. There you go. PKA8. And yeah, PKEQ. PKEQ equals reactant acid minus product acid negative 13. Mm -hmm. PKA here, eight, means PKB of this thing is six. Wait, did I go the wrong way again? I did. I used my first scenario instead of the one where I corrected myself. Oh, thank you for pointing that out. Yeah, I went the wrong direction. PKA is six. Oh, that eraser is too big. I should listen to myself more. Six, six, eraser, 11. Good. And we do all the parts, pretty sure. And then we get into a different type of acid base with uh, primary, uh, tertiary, and secondary ammoniums. Best base, secondary amine. Okay, means 
its conjugus, its conjugate is a weaker acid than tertiary ammonium. Its conjugate is AA, AA, weaker acid than tertiary ammonium. So look, here's the conjugate acid of a secondary. It's a weaker acid than the conjugate acid of a tertiary amine. This is the one I want you to go with first for that very reason. And copy the molecule where this keeps its H. I know I missed the acetic acid up there. That one's losing its H. And then a stronger base is actually going to take that H off next. And AC is this. Oh, Lewis structure. Oh, getting harsh here. Got to show every atom, every bond. That is a blast from the past, I hope. Every atom, every bond, every lone pair. That is Gilbert Lewis's legacy for us. Here's the AC part. Acetyl is AC and has an OH on it, so it's acetic acid. And the pKa of ACOH is 5. pKa of an ammonium ion, 10. That's one you did memorize. pKeq, 10 minus 5. Uh-oh. So finally, we have a reaction that's going backwards. Yeah, points towards the bigger pKa. And next up, we're going to have another pKa 10. You're going to have a pKa 16. Oh, you say, but alcohols are 17 to 18, Dr. Whitaker. Yes, normally alcohols are 17 to 18. Couple exceptions. Phenol, pKa 10. Both methanol and ethanol, the two smallest alcohols, same as water, 16. If you put 17 there, I'm going to give it to you. It's fine. And pKeq down here equals, uh, let's see, you started with a 10. It doesn't look like a 10. Minus 16, negative 6. So we're back to forward reaction. In fact, this is how you can overcome the bad equilibrium in the first reaction is by doing the second reaction. It'll pull this molecule away from the equilibrium. You got to make more. Everything else ends up sucked down here. And uh, do we do all the parts? I think so. Uh, sort of air boxes. Yeah, PKAs. Mm -hmm. Circling arrows. Uh huh. And PKEQ and KEQ. Oh, we didn't do KEQ at any time. Oh, oh. We didn't do KEQ. That's not a bad one. KEQ is in green. KEQ equals 10 to the positive 1. KEQ equals 10 to the positive 11. KEQ equals 10 to the negative 5. It's always the negative of this answer here. Keep in mind that those two are related. And here we go. KEQ is 10 to 6. Now we've done all the parts. And done.